Well, this is a great article, guys, because what it's doing is confirming what I have said many times in previous videos, and that is that we live in an electric universe and we are electric beings. And so any activity between the cosmos and our sun and our planet ultimately affects us. And not only in the physical, but also mentally and emotionally. So I love seeing these types of articles that basically confirm what we already know. Now, this article was published on the 24th of January, 2013 on Science Daily. And it goes on to say, University of Cincinnati researchers have found that lightning may affect the onset of headache and migraine. These results published in the January 24, 2013 online edition of the journal Cephalalgia are the first tying lightning to headache and could help chronic sufferers more effectively anticipate headache and migraine arrival and begin preventative treatment immediately. Jeffrey Martin, the fourth year medical student at UC and his father Vincent Martin, professor in the Division of General Internal Medicine, led the study which showed there was a 31% increased risk of headache and a 28% increased risk of migraine for chronic headache sufferers on days lightning struck within 25 miles of the study participant's home. In addition, New onset headache and migraine increased by 24% and 23% in participants. Many studies show conflicting findings on how weather, including elements like barometric pressure and humidity, affect the onset of headaches, Jeffrey Martin says. However, this study very clearly shows a correlation between lightning-associated meteorological factors and headaches. Participants who fulfilled the criteria for International Headache Society defined migraines were recruited from sites located in Ohio, Ohio and Missouri and recorded their headache activity in a daily journal for three to six months. Anyway, I am not going to continue reading this article, but I did just want to bring it to your attention because, you know, as I said, this is just more confirmation that we are electric beings. And we are affected by all of this solar activity and all of these cosmic events. And we are going to continue feeling these shifts and feeling these physical symptoms, emotional symptoms, for as long as we continue to see very severe solar activity. And even this cosmic, cosmic ray bombardment. So... Anyway, I will link the article underneath. And, as always, peace out.